Hello and welcome to this Haas Tip of the Day. Today we're going to answer the age-old question, what is G-code? <laughs> now a lot of us have fathers, grandfathers, great-grandfathers who used to make a living turning those manual cranks on their mills and lathes. Now those old-time machines were originally powered by water wheels with belts and then steam engines and then finally electricity. It wasn't until John Parsons from Michigan decided to mount a servo motor onto those hand wheels that things really took off. Now a bunch of programmers, engineers at MIT, developed a way for machinists like me and you to communicate with those machines. That language was called G-code. Now we're still using that language today. G-code is simply a language that machinists use to tell their machines where to go, how fast to get there, and what to do along the way. Now for more information on how G-Code works, stick around. Now if you look at a G-Code program, what you're gonna see are strings of letter number combinations. Let me give you a brief overview of what those letter codes do. Codes that begin with the letter G are preparatory functions. They tell the machine to do some kind of task like mill a line, drill a hole, or even tap a hole. M codes are miscellaneous codes. They typically turn something on or off. They call a program, or they turn on a coolant pump, or turn off a coolant pump. Our D, H, and T codes define what tool to use and what offset to use with that tool. Next, we have our feeds and our speeds. Those tell the machine how fast to move and at what RPM to run the spindle. Now we can take all of those other letter codes that we haven't talked about and file those away underneath address codes for now. Now we have tons of G codes that perform all kinds of tasks. Each of those G codes has been placed into a group with other like-minded G codes. G codes with similar functionality. Let me clear the board and give you an example of some of those G-code groups. Now you can think about G-code like items on a restaurant's menu, where for one low price, you can get one item from each category, from each group. Now, I'm gonna get the coffee, a salad, the beef, and pie. You cannot have two pieces of pie. Now when writing a CNC program, I can choose, at most, one G-code from each group. If I try and select more than one G-code from each group, I'm going to get an alarm. Now the reason that we have G-code groups is to divide up mutually exclusive G-codes. We can't drill and tap at the exact same time. So if you were to call up a G81 and a G84 on the same line of code, you'd get an alarm. Now I've circled a G81 to drill using a G98 clearance plane. We've turned off scaling and we're gonna use work offset G55. Now as I wrote my G81 drilling program, I looked up G81 in the mill manual. Underneath G81, it gives a list of required and optional address codes a feed rate, a z-depth, things like that. And I added those values to my program. That program is loaded in my machine, and I'm going to press cycle start. Now, as this program runs, I can see all the codes that have been used on our current commands active codes tab. The left column shows me all of my G codes. Each row is a different G code group. There's only a spot for one code from each group at any one time. The next column shows our address codes. In this case it shows a value of Z minus 1 and an R value of 0.1. Those are the address codes I used with my G81 cycle. The next column shows an H and T value of 5. I'm using tool 5 and offset 5. Right now it shows an M value 
of M03. That's telling my spindle to go clockwise. And finally, we have our feeds and speeds. 15 inches a minute, 2,500 RPMs. All of the information that we needed is displayed on the current commands page. Well, we've given you a lightning fast, 10,000 foot look at G-code programming. I love G-code programming. It gives me the precise control that I need to run my production parts efficiently. Now, we do offer a conversational programming package on our Haas mills and lathes. We have IPS, Intuitive Programming System, as well as a VPS, Visual Programming System, on our next gen control. So you can take a look at those as well. For more information on G-Code Programming, download the Haas Mill or Lathe Manual from the DIY site, diy.haascnc.com. That's it, and thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Thank you.